What's up, everybody? Jake Blickenstaff with Jake Blickenstaff and Associates and Virtual Properties Realty coming at you in another market update for June. Let's dive right in. So for this month, uh, it is June 22nd and uh, the National Association of Realtors comes out monthly with all of the updated stats for housing across the state, also for all of the specific counties uh, across the state as well. And I always like to share this information to ensure that uh, everybody's going to have what you need to know really what's going on in the market, whether you're looking to buy, whether you're looking to sell, whether you're looking to just kind of understand what's going on or whether you're looking to just really get a uh, current home valuation for your property and knowing kind of where the market's trending and kind of what to expect. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen real quick. All right, so I'm gonna blow through this. Uh, so as the weather is warming and pandemic re restrictions ease across much of the country, the US housing market shows little signs of cooling down. Robust buyer demand fueled by low mortgage rates continues to outpace supply, which remains near historic lows. Nationwide, inventory re remains much lower than it was at this time last year, and sales prices are surging as a result. New listings in the state of Georgia increased 5.6% to 17,007. Pending sales increased 1.7% to 15,154. Inventory decreased 51.6% to 17,171. It's a lot of homes that are no longer available on the market. Uh, median sales price increased to 23.1% from 240,000 to now 295,513. The days on market has decreased from 49.1% to 27%. Month's supply of inventory decreased from 60% to 1.2%. Uh, with such limited supply of existing homes to purchase, all eyes are 100% on home builders to be able to provide a much needed boost of inventory to the market to help meet that buyer demand. However, increased material and labor costs along with supply chain challenges have continued to significantly, uh, contributed to significantly higher construction costs. While the builders are passing these costs on to homeowners and while the warmer temperatures, rising sales prices and the reopening of the economy may draw more sellers into the market, historic low levels of homes for sale are likely to continue for some time. So as you can see across the state of Georgia, uh, one year change in closed sales were up 36% and uh, one year change in median sales price is going to be up 23% and the uh, number of homes that are for sale like we've literally cut our inventory in half. Uh, so that's no surprise to anybody. I think I've uh, pretty much spoke about that just about every single video or uh, piece of content that I've kind of put out uh, just because that's kind of what the reality of uh, the housing market is right now. And uh, looking into the Athens area specifically, and I'm going di to dive into all of this for Athens, Clark County, uh, Coney County, Oglethorpe County, Madison County, and Jackson County. So all of the five surrounding counties uh, for the At greater Athens area. Uh, so if you guys have, uh, if you're in one of these specific areas, uh, you can just kind of fast forward to that particular section uh, within this video and you'll be able to get all of that content. So for uh, the Athens market, the, the change as from May of last year to this year, uh, new listings, it's gonna be up about 14%. Pending sales down about 5%. Closed sales were up 33%. Days on market until the sale, about 32 days. The uh, median sales price in the Athens area is gonna be 274,500. That's gonna be up 20% from this time last year. And average sales price, has increased a 35.6%. Wow, big leap to uh, 330,000. Percent of list price, uh, essentially what, what the home 
list for versus what it sells for is going to be 101 percent so it's going to be a three percent change from last year inventory of homes for sale is going to be uh 227 that's a 36 percent decrease from last year and the uh, current month supply of inventory for the area or for athens uh city area specifically is going to be 1.2 that means uh there's going to be if there was no additional homes that are going to come on the market at the current rate that homes are selling uh, we would have all homes sold and there would be nothing left available in 1.2 months. So that's, uh, that's pretty much how fast everything's going. Um, as far as townhouses go, condos, here's some of the additional stats. Uh, increased price on those up about 20% to 174,000. Average sales price is gonna be about 222,000. Uh, list sales price ratio, to me right around the same, hasn't had much change, about 99%. Uh, inventory of homes for sale decreased a little bit by about 11%, so 56 available on the market for the month of May. Now jumping over to uh, Clark County as a whole, here's going to be some of the key stats for it. New listings, 254, which is going to be an increase of 14%. Uh, Pending sales, 202, had uh, 203 closed sales last month. Days on market is going to be about 30 Median sales price, 270,000 is an increase of about 18%. The, uh, the average sales price is up about 33% to uh, 324,000. And uh, Clark County still looking good with 101% uh, list to sales price. And like I said before, 1.2 months supply of inventory. And uh, condos still looking about the same for Clark County, about 20% increase. Uh, median sales price is about 174,000. Average sales price is about 221, and uh, 1.2 month supply inventory there as well. Uh, jumping over to Oconee, you're gonna have a little bit higher price properties, uh, a little bit better school districts, uh, a little bit higher property taxes. Uh, we had 128 new listings come on the market in May last month, so that's a uh, down 9% from this time last year. Pending sales, we had 94. Closed sales, 118. And days on market, about 31. The uh, median sales price is going to be about 490,000. It's going to be up 26% from what it was this time last year. Uh, average sales price is going to be 539,000, 101% of uh, list of sales price. Pretty standard kind of across the board. 1.2 months of inventory, homes for sale. Uh, our inventory for sale is 119. Now, the, uh, the townhouses that are over there, you're going to have a little bit higher price point as well. Median sales price is going to be 325000 33% increase. And average sales price is 329000 36% increase. And uh, over there, the days on market is about 17. So those go pretty quickly. Uh, jumping out to Oglethorpe County. We're going to have, uh, we had 25 new listings last month and 20 pending sales at the end of the month. Uh, closed sales was 17. Days on market, only about nine. So it's, uh, they're still going pretty quickly over there. Median sales price, 252000 which is an increase of 36% from last year. And the uh, average sales price, about 305000 100% of list price. So everything's pretty well uh, priced over there. Inventory on homes for sales, 29. Month inventory is uh, 1.2 months. And uh, Madison County, as you can see down here, just a real quick jump, townhouses, there's not any available. So we'll skip that section. The uh, new listings, 55, pending sales was 43, closed sales, 58. Uh, days on market, 22. Median sales price, about 230,000. Average sale price, 289,000, about 99% uh, list price received. Inventory of homes, 56. Month supply of inventory is 1.1. So a small little decrease there. And for Jackson County, uh, new listings is 199,000. Jackson County's definitely been blowing up over the last year, that's for sure. Uh, penny sales, 171. Closed sales, 166. Days on market, only 15. And the uh, median sales price, 279,000, with the average sales price of about 306,000. Uh, 100.7% uh, list price received. And the uh, inventory of homes available for sales, 146. Month supply inventory is 0.8. So uh, Jackson County is definitely seeing an uptick uh, with their current activity.
So if you guys have any other questions, if there's anything that I can help you out with, if you're uh, interested in the market uh, over here in the greater Athens area, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 404-281-5002. Once again, my name is Jake Blickenstaff. I'd be happy to help you in any way that I possibly can. I hope you have a great afternoon. And if you guys already on, aren't already on my uh, newsletter where you're going to get all of these updates on a weekly basis, uh, feel free to reach out to me, either DM me, shoot me a message, or shoot me an email, call, text, however you want to do, smoke signals, that'll work too. And uh, I'll make sure that you guys get all the information that you need. Thanks, and I appreciate your time. We'll see you next week. Thank you.